the HHS Office of Climate Change and Health Equity works to promote health equity and strengthen sector-wide commitment to addressing the climate crisis as its overt and subtle effects threaten worldwide well-being, according to John Balbus, the office's interim director. The full recap of his fireside chat with SAIC chief climate scientist Steve Ambrose is available at govconwire.com. The U.S. Army has awarded Raytheon Technologies a $1.2 billion contract to deliver six national advanced surface-to-air missile systems to Ukraine as part of a Pentagon-led security assistance initiative. In his latest article for Executive Mosaic's GovCon Expert Program, Technomile COO Mick Fox presents three imperatives for federal contractors to consider when shaping their evaluation of contract lifecycle management technology software. Five companies have secured spots on a $900 million multiple award contract to provide harness components and kits for the U.S. Air Force's F-16 aircraft fleet. David Huizenga, most recently president and CEO of Kloss Government, has joined Sigma Defense Systems as chief strategy officer. BAE Systems has tapped Curtis Wright and the U.S. business arms of Elbit Systems and Kinetic to collaborate on its bid for the U.S. Army's next-generation infantry fighting vehicle development program. Noblis MSD subsidiary has secured a potential five-year, $187 million contract to engineer C-4 ISR systems for the U.S. Navy. Enlightenment Capital has invested in iNovex, a Columbia, Maryland-based provider of software development platforms focused on signals intelligence, cybersecurity, robotic process automation and data analysis for federal government, intelligence community and commercial clients. Join GovConWire's Events Space Acquisition Forum on January 18, 2023. Visit govconwire.com slash events. Dallas-based private equity firm Highlander Partners has acquired Litei Systems, a developer of counter-unmanned aircraft system platforms for defense and national security applications. The U.S. Air Force has exercised three contract options worth $234.6 million for Boeing to continue support services to the E-4B Airborne Command Post.